First, we make an amigurumi ring. We need three air loops, a chain of three air loops. A chain of air loops is the same height as one double crochet. There is already one double crochet and 11 more double crochets need to be knitted into this amigurumi ring. Tighten the amigurumi ring. When knitting with double crochets, you need 12 double crochets because they are higher. If we make 6 or 8, then we will not be able to connect in a beautiful circle. We start the hook in the third air loop and connect the circle. We rise to the next row. Again, we need three air loops. Always to climb to the next row, you need three air loops. In the second row, you need to make an increase. Double the number of double crochets. It was 12 and now you need to do 24. In each lower column, we need two columns with a crochet. In this third air loop, you need to knit another double crochet. Yarn over and at the top of the next double crochet, we need to double crochet. Again, to the next top of the double crochet, we need two double crochets. And so we need the whole row and at the end of the row, we connect the knitting in a circle. We introduce a hook into the third air loop and connect it with a connecting loop. Third row, we need three air loops. And the first secret of an even circle is that the number of increases in each row should be the same. In the second row, we added 12 double crochets. In the third row, also 12 double crochet must be added. Yarn over and knit at the top of the lower double crochet two double crochets. In the next lower double crochet, we need one double crochet. And in the next, we need two double crochets. Increases in this row are made through one lower double crochet. We made an increase. We needed one double crochet, again an increase and a double crochet, and so one until the end of the row. We alternate to the end of the row like this. Then we need two double crochets into one lower double crochet. And at the end of the row, we start a hook in the third air loop and connect the knitting in a circle. We rise to the next row, three air loops. Again, you need to add 12 double crochet. The second secret of the even circle is that I make increments in a checkboard pattern. Here is an increase, then one double crochet, and again an increase. In this row, we will make an increase from this one double crochet. At the beginning of the row, we need a double crochet in the same top of the lower double crochet. And then we need twice one double crochet and in the next two double crochets. That is now we need an increase, one double crochet, an increase, one double crochet and so on until the end of the row. Tie the row, connect in a circle Need the next row. In this row, two 12 double crochet must be added. Here is an increase and here. Between them, two columns with a crochet. In the next row, there will be three double crochets between increments, then in the next four, then five, and so we increase the number of double crochets between increments until we need a circle of the desired size. We make increases in this row between the previous increases. 
Either we will need two from this double crochet or from this one. It doesn't matter which one, need from any. Now we need two columns with a crochet. There by one again, three by one again, and then two in the bottom double crochet. I will stretch the canvas, right increase and left. Between them are three columns with a crochet, and so we need to the end of the row. In the next row, we make an increase between the previous increases in the checkboard pattern. In this column and between the increments, there will be four columns with a crochet. Then in the next row, again in a checkboard pattern, we make increases. The main thing is to make the same number of increases in each row, that is, we add 12 double crochets in each row. This is the first principle, and the second is to do the increase in a checkboard pattern, and not opposite each other, as is usually shown in the diagrams. This way you will always have an even circle. If the increments are made opposite each other, then there will be a dodecagon. If the increments are made opposite each other, then there will be a dodecagon. The canvas should not rise like this. The circle should be even and flat. This circle can be used in different products. And you guys subscribe to my channel, write in the comments what you think. And see you!